All right, YouTubers, I uh, received a special request to uh, talk about the controller wiring on my Radiant heat system. So here's a picture of one of my two controllers. Uh, this one has, if you look at the top, five thermostats going into it. If I come over here to this other one, you'll see there's four wires, four thermostats connected into that one. But let's come back here and focus on this one. I made up these little sheets to just help me remember uh, how they're connected to the zone. So the basic principle here is you've got uh, heating zones uh, which have thermostats and that's the wires coming in at the top and those are going to control heating loops which these wires here connect down to the actuators on the manifold. So as you'll notice from my little picture I have some heating loops that are combined together on a single thermostat. And that just has to do with the way I laid out the house and or the, the garage. You see there, upper garage east, upper garage west. The garage was big enough to warrant two heating loops, but I only needed one thermostat for the upper garage. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and expose the wiring and uh, show you how I did things inside the box. Here we are inside the box. Let me point out just a few things. My thermostat wire, I actually used a four wire uh, thermostat cable here, but I only need two. I'm only doing a, uh, a heating zone there, so I don't need all four wires. So you'll see I've got five heating zones uh, configured up here on the top part. And then down here, those heating zones are right below each one and you'll notice some of them have multiple wires connected to them that means I've got more than one actuator going into that heating zone so pretty straightforward I do use a, a two wire actuator um, makes it a little simpler so all I do is just jumper uh, those last two you can see a little jumper wire there on the, the last two terminals uh, for those heating zones. In terms of the power, so what's happening here is I've got the main power coming in. That's this black cable that you see plugged into the wall. And then I've got a uh, power coming out which activates the pump when any one of the thermostats calls for heat. Uh, so that's the basic wiring. It's a little straightforward. Um, you know, it could be a little intimidating if this is your first time doing some wiring. But uh, the controllers come with some pretty good instructions, and happy to help out, help out if you have any questions. But otherwise, that's how I wired my Taco Radiant Heat controllers. Take care.